Hello there, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPVNet video series on C++ and in this video we will be learning about size of operator. And we will be considering these things 1, 2, 3 and 4. First we will see the size of class and struct, size of the array, size of inbuilt types like integer, character and all that and the size of the pointer. This is also a very important part. Okay. So let's start with the classes but before that let me tell you if it is one byte means it is eight bits okay so four bytes means 32 bits okay so let's keep this here for the reference okay and in case if you don't know what is the size of integer what is the size of character let me write that for you so if it is integer int it is 4 byte yeah i'm going to give you the data of your inbuilt types okay so integer is 4 bytes character is 1 byte and one more thing to remember your size of operator always returns bytes not bits okay float 4 byte and double 8 byte okay so this is your basic data and this is another basic data 1 byte means 8 bits, 4 bytes means 32 bits. So let's write the class first. Class base and if you are keeping integer x and getting the size of x, I mean base class, then it would give you 4 bytes. Okay, let's compile this. See it is giving 4 here. Okay, why 4? Because integer is of size 4 byte okay so if you will make it like integer y it means two integer variables it is going to be eight okay c but if you will include a character c then it will become 12 let's see that and the reason is this happens because of the structural padding concept so if you don't know what structural padding is i'll be giving the link in the description field in case if i forget please ask me okay so this is how you calculate the size of your class okay not only by writing the class name you can use the object also okay so if it is base class object o and if you will write that you will get the similar output okay so instead of class you can write struct okay and it will give you the same output because there is no much difference in between struct and class in C++. Okay. C struct is different than C++ struct. Okay. There are two different struct. C struct and C++ struct. So don't get confused with that. So we saw the way of getting the size of your classes. Now let's move to the array. So remove this base function. Let's suppose you are having some ARR of few elements like 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 and you want to get the size of this array okay like size of arr let's print this it is 20 why it is 20 as we are holding integer 5 elements and i told you that integer is of 4 bytes so 4 into 5 20 okay so this array is holding 20 bytes if you are passing this function i mean this array into some function like this and you want to get the size of your past arr there you won't be able to get that okay so if you are getting it like here integer arr then you won't be able to get the size of your array there okay what's the problem it is giving you the warning actually there is no error it is just the warning saying that size of an array function parameter arr will return the size of integer pointer and that's what i want to tell you okay see the result is four bytes so why it is happening like this why it is not giving you 20 here the reason is your compiler knows the size of your array in that function only where it was created okay so this arr was created 
in main so if you write size of it will calculate the size correctly and this case is for arrays only okay not other data types so this array size calculation in different function is not possible that's why we pass another parameter in the function like size okay so here we will get the integer size if you want to process this array inside some another function okay that's how we implement the array passing okay we pass the array pointer here and pass the size explicitly and how we calculate the size of the array is like this integer size is equal to size of your full array and then size of one element arr of zero okay so here you will get how many elements are there in this array okay so we will send the size here and we will get size here okay and this time i'm talking about the elements in this this size denote how many elements are there because the result of this size of arr would be 20 and result of this would be 4 so 20 divided by 4 would be 5 so we know how many elements are there inside this function by passing this size here okay and we already know the type because we are passing that array with this integer okay so whatever we needed is there in this function now you can iterate over this array inside this function okay so that's what happens when you deal with the array in different functions okay so i think this array topic is completed now i don't think we need to go for the inbuilt type because i have already told you that the size of inbuilt integer is four byte character one byte and all that there are other data types like sort and long but i won't discuss those data types. you go and check how many inbuilt data types are available in c and c plus plus okay how the size of operator work we are discussing that part only okay and one more thing i wanted to tell you that size of operator look like it is a function like size of and you are passing this array and getting the size of this particular array from some size of function but let me tell you that this is not a function this is an operator okay operator means how you use this plus minus and all that in the similar way this size of is also an operator and this is evaluated at compile time not run time okay so if you are writing size of and your compiler is compiling this line and this line and when your compiler will encounter size of array at compile time only it will check what is the size of your array okay it is not going to wait till run time okay that is also a very big point about size of so let's look at the pointer now and if i miss something tell me that i may include in some other videos okay so now let's look at the pointer case here if you have an integer pointer p is equal to new integer and let's suppose you want value 10 okay and you want to get the size of p it is going to be 4 c and why 4 i'll tell you in a moment so let's create a double pointer d is equal to new double and there we will have 15.3 okay and we will get the size of your double and that's it and let's compile this again see you're having four and four but as i said this double is of eight byte but still the pointer of that double is printing four byte let's have another example let's create character pointer character pointer c is equal to new character and let's suppose we are having a in that and let's print the size of your character also okay this is also going to print four byte so why this four 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 if you are printing the size of object itself i mean the data type itself it will be different let me show you that see out size of 
instead of d you can dereference the value in that and this time you will be getting 8 okay so the value is 8 byte i mean the double but the double pointer is still 4 byte and all the pointers are still 4 bytes why it is like that so let me give you another example here if you are dereferencing pointer c then this will give you 1 see first you created for the pointer so it is giving 4 but second is 1 so this is giving you 1 so this is exactly how i told you here okay but why this much difference the difference is there because whenever you print any pointer sorry this one this one and this one you will always get four byte whatever the pointer is doesn't matter okay even if it is holding one byte data we know character is of one byte but still the pointer of that character which is this one would always be a four byte but it would be four byte in 30 bit operating system okay so if your operating system is of 32 bits means four bytes then your all pointers would be of four byte okay but in case if your os is 64 bits it means eight byte then your all pointers would be of eight bytes okay so it depends on your operating system what type of operating system you are using and from where does this four byte size comes actually there is a ram we all know because we know that okay so this is the value part of your ram so this is value and here is the address from here to here okay and it start with zero cross something 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 but this address is of 32 bits in 32 bit operating system and the same this address is 64 in 64 bit operating system okay so whenever you apply size of on some pointer it will always give you what is the size of your address part in your ram okay and that depends on 32 bit and 64 bit operating systems and as i said classes and structs have little different size of calculation because there is something called structural pairing okay and if i have not included this videos link in this videos description please ask me for that because i may forget okay so let's look at the next question now